Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a niacinamide facial cream. Niacinamide is a concentrated form of vitamin B and we use it in our skincare products to brighten our skin and even out our skin tone. This facial cream recipe that I formulated is full of anti-aging properties as well as lots of humectants to help draw moisture to your skin. So it's a really good facial cream for under your makeup and even at nighttime before bed. The final consistency is a lightweight kind of gel cream with lots of emollient properties. I think you're really gonna like this one. In this video today, I'm gonna be going over my full visual step-by-step -step process and tutorial of how to make this formula. And if you would like the full written recipe with amounts and percentages so you can scale up or down as you like, along with a full detailed step-by-step -step tutorial that you can print off, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can find this recipe now at the bonus level. This one will be posted at the $7 level this month. So I hope you'll come on over to the campaign and check it out. If you haven't had a chance to check out my Patreon campaign yet, I really hope you will. I'll go ahead and put the link to my campaign in the description box below. I really hope that you'll make 2024 your year to come on over and see what it's all about. It's a great way to connect with me and other makers. And just at the $5 level, there are hundreds of recipes and tutorials for you to take advantage of. We have other tiers too, each with their own unique benefits. And we are still offering our coupon codes upon sign up to makeseat.com and onlinelabels.com, two of my favorite suppliers so i really hope that you'll come on over in fact if you get a five or ten dollar off coupon code depending on what tier you sign up for then it really makes your sign up well worth it at the five dollar level seven or ten dollar level i really hope you'll check it out all right let's get started all right so first things first this formula is comprised of a heated water phase a heated oil phase and a cool down phase it's basically we're putting together an emulsified type cream. So we're going to be combining oils and waters. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and weigh off the ingredients needed for the water phase. Now I have two scales here. Um, this one is for weighing off like larger amounts. This one is for smaller amounts. We're making a really small 100 gram batch today and this one can get down into the hundredth of a gram. So both of these scales you can find over on my Amazon affiliate link and if you use that link it does benefit me so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and weigh off some niacinamide vitamin b powder this is a water soluble powder Now you guys are maybe familiar with my other niacinamide cream formula, but it's available also on my Patreon campaign. In fact, I have a whole little collection of formulas containing niacinamide. So hopefully you'll head on over there and check them all out, including this one. All right. And then Next, we're gonna be weighing off some elantoin. Now I mentioned in the intro that niacinamide is used for its skin brightening and complexion skin tone evening properties. So next we're gonna be adding in some elantoin powder. Elantoin is great for its soothing properties. And elantoin actually comes from, this is a processed form of elantoin that comes from the comfrey plant. Lots of amazing benefits. So we're gonna go ahead and add in some elantoin powder. All right. Then we're just gonna go ahead and pop this elantoin powder and niacinamide powder into the bottom of this water face beaker. And then we're gonna go ahead and weigh off some distilled water. Next, we're gonna be adding in some aloe vera water. This is aloe vera liquid that I got from Brambleberry. And this is gonna provide a lot of soothing properties and cooling properties, but it's also a wonderful humectant. So that means it's gonna to help to draw moisture and help moisture stick to your skin. I have 
thought try this with a full aloe vera liquid as the water meaning I haven't tried this as the full liquid in the recipe it is cut with some distilled water and the reason for that is because some of the ingredients that we're going to be using here are sensitive to or a little sensitive to electrolytes and aloe vera liquid has a lot of electrolytes in it so that might be an experiment for another day to see if it will hold up if I use 100% aloe vera liquid. Now that's going to look a little cloudy until we can warm up the heated water phase. And then the last thing we're going to add to our water phase beaker is some glycerin. We're using a fair amount of glycerin in this formula. Again, this is another humectant that is going to help to draw and lock moisture into your skin. All right, and then we're going to give that a good stir. set that aside. Next up we're going to be weighing off the ingredients needed for the heated oil phase and again we're going to bring out this little beaker here or this little tiny half a bath bomb mold and this little scale and we're going to start weighing off ingredients for the heated oil phase. So the first thing that we're going to be weighing off is called Cream Maker Blend. This is an emulsifier. I got this one from Making Cosmetics, although it is a combination of glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate. Probably a 50-50 blend of those two things. So if you can't uh, come by this Cream Maker Blend or you can find the two ingredients separately at a better cost, Again, it's just glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate, and I'm sure it's a 50-50 blend or so. And so we're going to go ahead and weigh off what we need here. Now, the reason I'm using this particular emulsifier is because it has a very beautiful velvety skin feel in creams and lotions. It's, it's especially nice in facial creams. So you can swap this out for any other emulsifier of your choice, but just know that you're gonna change the overall profile and how it feels. It's not gonna be the same if you use a different emulsifier. All right. Next up, we're gonna be adding in a gel maker. Now I told you in the intro also that this is, this cream is going to be kind of a gel type cream, a gel cream. It's going to have a very beautiful end texture. I think you're really going to like the final texture of this. Um, but we're going to go ahead and weigh this off. This is our gel maker. It is soluble in water. However, we're going to disperse it in our oil phase first. It makes it much easier to disperse into the water. We don't get any clumps this way. So this is called Sepamax Zen and the inky for it is polyacrylate cross polymer six. This is going to create a little bit of a gel or a bouncy feeling and it also gives the formula a really velvety um, skin feel. You're really really going to like this. Uh, I wouldn't recommend substituting this with anything else in this formula and I've been getting lots of requests lately to formulate things with ingredients that you guys might have already purchased in the last year and watching my tutorials. And so we're gonna go ahead and try incorporating some of these things that I have had in the last year or so in case you've stocked up on some of these ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this into this container. This is a very lightweight powder, so it looks like I'm putting in a lot, but in reality, it doesn't take a lot to make a big difference in your product with this ingredient. Okay. 
we're gonna go ahead and place that to the bottom of our oil phase beaker. And then the last thing that we're gonna be adding into the oil phase is some beautiful argan oil. Uh, argan oil is a lovely, silky, lightweight, kind of medium emollient oil. It's used a lot in hair care and skin care products. It's really beautiful. So I really like the feeling of argan oil. You can swap this out for any lightweight carrier oil of your choice. Um, a good substitute and probably a little bit less expensive would be maybe sunflower seed oil or avocado oil or hemp seed oil. Um, I really like the way the argan oil fills in this particular formula. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this a bit of a stir to combine. We just want to combine that Cephamax Zen with the oil just to kind of start working out any powdery clumps and it's just gonna look sort of opaque. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and heat up our oil and water phase. While my water and oil phases are heating up, I have it on a little double boiler system over here with a, in a wide saute pan with a few inches of water. And while that's heating up and melting down, we're gonna go ahead and weigh off our cool down ingredients. Now our cool down ingredients comprise of our preservative, some essential oils, and some rose hip extract. So we're first gonna weigh off the rose hip extract. Now I got this one from Crafter's Choice or Wholesale Supplies Plus, and rose hips are amazing. It's an amazing anti-aging ingredient. And what you're gonna see when I weigh this off is that it has a nice dark color to it. I always like it when extracts that are supposed to be dark in color actually are when you purchase them. A lot of times you'll get like a carrot extract or something else that's supposed to be pigmented that actually is clear in its extract form, which always is kind of weird to me. But you'll see this rosehip extract is a dark in color and it's got a ton of antioxidants which are great for anti-aging. And then to this, we're gonna be adding in our preservative. Today we're using Optifin preservative. A preservative is necessary when you're making a water and oil combination. And then to this, we're gonna be adding in some essential oils. Now I'm using a very small amount of a combination of Roman chamomile and geranium essential oil. And I just picked these up at my local health food store. I don't really care for geranium much on its own. I like it mixed with other botanicals like chamomile or rose is another really good one to mix with geranium. Um, geranium is known for also its anti-aging properties, so it's a great one to use in facial care. And then next we're gonna be adding in that Roman chamomile. Roman chamomile is also another one that's known for its anti-aging properties, its soothing properties, and it's another great one for facial creams. So we're just gonna be combining these two. All right. And then we're just gonna set the cool down ingredients aside and we'll be back for the next step. Okay, everything is now warmed through and sufficiently melted down. You're gonna notice when you use Sebamax Zen 
that it doesn't go all the way clear in your formula. It's gonna stay cloudy looking and a tiny bit lumpy looking until you've combined everything. So we're gonna go ahead, we're sitting right around 165 degrees on both the oils and the water. And we're gonna go ahead and pour our oils, I mean our water into our oil phase speaker. And then I'm gonna get my immersion blender. You're gonna notice this is pretty cool. It's gonna thicken up significantly right away. And that's really all it is. It just gets thick and kind of bouncy and gel-like right away. So this is a bit different than my other niacinamide formula. Um, the other niacinamide formula is more of a thick cream. So if you're over on the campaign, you will now have access to both of these if you like, and you can compare or decide which one you wanna make or make both of them if you like. Okay, so I'm gonna take a temperature read on this. And if we're ready, we'll go ahead and add in our cool down ingredients. We wanna be, you know, 110 degrees or less. Um, we don't want it to degrade that beautiful rosehip extract or the essential oils. Okay, so, let's see. We're gonna wait just a minute and then we'll be back to add in the cool down. All right, we're ready to go ahead and add in our cool down phase ingredients now. So it does have a nice kind of botanical herbaceous smell to it. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a little mix by hand first. And you'll see it slightly changes the color. It's not bright white anymore, it's more of an off-white color. And then we're gonna do one more, one more blend with the stick blender just to make sure that everything is well incorporated. All right, I'll bring you back when we've reached room temperature on this product and I'll show you how we're gonna package it up. All right, so we have reached room temperature and in my space, that's about 70 degrees. And I just wanted to give you an idea of the final consistency. We're gonna go ahead and pop this into a piping bag and put this into some little airless pump containers. I always have two spatulas around for this reason. It's just easier to get this cleaned off. But So to give you an idea of the final consistency, it just has a really nice like gel, a gel type of cream consistency. Check that out. And that is due to that beautiful Sepamax Zen, you guys know I love that gel maker, thickener so much. I love the way it makes your skin feel too. So we've got this nice kind of bouncy texture. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it into this piping bag and I'll bring you right back to package it up. Okay, I have the formula in a large piping bag here and we're gonna be piping into these cute little airless pump containers. These are one ounce containers and you can find these again using my Amazon affiliate link but I like these because I think I like the look of them but they are also you can use them more than once because they just unscrew and they're not a one-time use a lot of airless pumps are a one-time use plastic which is not ideal so I have another formula that's pretty similar to this one in consistency and these little guys the only thing is is they're hard to fill up I have experimented with lots of different ways to fill these up and this is by far the best. I tried with a little piping tip at the end, that did not work at all. Um, I have tried 
using a plastic bag and then cutting the tip off and getting it in there. The problem is, is it likes to fill up with air while you're piping in the product and then it overflows. So this is the best way. You just get a piping bag and you fill it up and you after you fill it up, you just cut off the very, very tip of the piping bag and then you put it down. I put it down into the container the best you can. Just kind of squish it down in there and then slowly squeeze into the container. Just trust me on this process. This way is pretty foolproof. You can get it right to the top. It's way, way cleaner than the other things I've tried. And there you go, all the way filled up. So then we're just gonna go ahead and place the lid. And I like to pop the plastic piece off and really kind of make sure it's screwed down. And there it is. So I hope that tip with the piping helped because let me tell you, it wasn't fun I feel like wasting all that product and experimenting. This just seems to be the best way. And there you go. This one's partially full, so I'll go ahead and do a, a little bit of a use demo on this one. All right, so it just has a beautiful, beautiful texture. Like it's lightweight, but it's actually like very substantial and emollient feeling and it just soaks right in. It doesn't leave any white streaking on your face or your skin, which is a bonus. And it just soaks in and makeup goes over the top of it really, really nicely. Again, you could use this under makeup or at night. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, silky feeling cream. And there you go, everybody. That is how you make a beautiful niacinamide and argon oil facial cream. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please remember to leave me some comments and questions below. Let me know what else you want to see in this upcoming year. I like to use your suggestions a lot. It helps me to drive the kind of content that I want to put out there for you guys. So don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel. Share this video with a friend. All right, everybody. Catch you on the next video. Bye. Keep shining.